It is officially our last day in St. Petersburg. We're heading out in just a few hours to go back onto our ship. But we were just walking by the Church of Our Savior of Spilled Blood behind us, you can see it. Under construction, of course, because we're here. And so we were just wandering around some of the souvenir stands, looking at some of the, what are those called? They're like Russian stacked the dolls. dolls. They have a specific name, but I don't know what it is because it's in Russian. Checking them out, looking at the Trump ones, the Putin ones, asking some good questions, which one's the most popular. And guess which one is the most popular out of all of their, what would you call it, styles? All of their choices. All of all the choices, Star Wars. Star Wars is the most popular. We asked about the Trump one, how's it selling? They said sometimes it's sometimes very good, sometimes very bad. People say sometimes they love it or sometimes they ask <laughs> if they can burn it. <laughs> But anyway, he said the political ones cause a, stir up a lot of emotions. Yeah, no, no matter which one you're looking at, whether it's France, UK, American, Russian, it's such, such politicians. Such politics. Yep. You look a little traumatized. That's because all these guys keep asking me to touch their stuff. Like what? Touch my dirty pigeons. Touch my claw. I'm a horse. I don't want to touch anything that you have. And these backpacks aren't help us, helping us stick out as non-tourists. Uh, would you like to touch my two pigeons? up with these delicious powdered donut. This is a kind of a hidden gem here in the city, right? Each donut costs about 22 cents. We figured it out. And they're hot and full of powdered sugar. These are really good. They're very light, fluffy, with like a little bit of oil in it. I'm gonna dip Here's your chance to shine. Go ahead. Pushchishnaya. Pushchishnaya. But anyway, here he found out this little coffee shop here, and it's kind of a perfect pit stop for us today. But it's this Soviet era style donut shop. Yes, she's saying it. <laughs> Great little stop. Cheap donuts, 22 cents a piece. And 22, 14 ruble. 14 ruble. 14 about 22 14 US cents. cents a piece. And you get two little cups of coffee, it's a great little pit stop to break up your day. So we came out of the donut shop, acting goofy, as always. And apparently the sight, the city sightseeing bus hit a car. <laughs> and then the guy got, he got so angry he kicked the car. And then he kicked he, the car tire. And so we knew this was going to happen during our time here. I mean, it's just... And the guy over here, wait, do you see the guy behind me, the, the bus driver, he's like smoking, like this one really Panicking. Well, you knew it was going to happen here because there is just too much aggression on the streets. Yeah. People like just gunning. Yeah. So not a, not a huge surprise. I'm surprised it took this long though, our last day, even though we were only here three days. Okay, so now this bus is blocking off the whole street behind me. And there's going to be just, I'm sure, massive honking going on any second now because the whole street is absolutely to a standstill. Audrey, look at this. Look at the cars behind me. How far this is getting backed up. <laughs> So the weather is finally not agreeing with us at all. It's starting to drizzle a little bit. We stopped at Subway, we grabbed some sandwiches for the cruise tonight. A little bit later, we'll have some sandwiches on board. And we just decided to kind of finalize our day here probably at the most iconic spot, one of the most iconic spots in St. Petersburg, the Hermitage Museum, which we did not get a chance to go to, but we had a book in our apartment, which we enjoyed. And for me, I am more of a Vincent van Gogh kind of guy, and Audrey is more of a Claude Monet kind of girl. So they had those two pieces from their collections here at the Hermitage, which you can enjoy online or in person. Or you said they offer virtual tours. Yes, they have a virtual tour also. So we're going to head over to St. Isaac's, which is right in front of us. Um, maybe just a few blocks away. That's where the shuttle takes us to the port. 
but we also might stop at a restaurant along the way just for a quick bite to eat because you know we only had three donuts each and that's not very many donuts for us you're on a roll Yuri. So I just made a great pit stop at Ceneval for, I had baked salmon, like a sushi roll of baked salmon, and Audrey, what the heck did you have? I had like a traditional dish of meat, potatoes, cheese, vegetables, it was phenomenal. Uh, and mine was awesome too. Uh, that was like next door to where we were, it was kind of on the other side of the city. I would have ate there every single day, I think. It was really good. Prices are wonderful, food was delicious, the service, so great, we had a nice sweet waitress who was so nice to us. And free Wi-Fi. And free Wi-Fi, the only free Wi-Fi we've seen in the whole city. Exactly. Where you didn't have to enter a cell phone number. So it was just a great stop. And now we have to go to catch that shuttle because now we are actually kind of catching, we're getting a little close to where we might have to find our own transportation to the port. So no wonder the Russians drink so much vodka. Why? Because it's so smooth. For me, it's the same. <laughs> and what about that guy who hit his head? <laughs> After eight vodka shots, we have a receipt for proof. I said, wouldn't it be poetic justice if I fell and hit my head on the concrete? It would be the perfect ending to the St. Petersburg vlog. <laughs> And? Now I have no bus because I'm going to... Because they the, changed locations. All of a sudden they decided and, to change locations, so... Which is about a mile from where it was supposed to be. So now we're in a taxi. On our Here's way a travel tip for you. Anytime you're in a mind traveling, go to like a fancy hotel and they will take care of you like no other. Like it's you're like, almost a guest. Yeah, like it's kind of like one of the best travel tips you'll ever like hear about. In a bind, go to a fancy hotel because they're like trained to... Like, fulfill yeah, your needs. every desire. <laughs> So we're on a taxi now, head into the port. You made it on board. You're on board, we made it. The ship leaves in 40 minutes. How does that feel? Are you glad you made it? You could put it like this. Do you feel good? You could put it like this. You're on the ship. They love Americans here. Oh, you're, you're on the from, ship. You're from America. Oh, I love you. Mm-hmm.